um, the the project uh, in the past year, I've I've thought about a lot about how um, animals uh, and humans, how we move across landscape, sometimes the same and sometimes quite differently. Um, and you know, in studying this these lines that we that we make and that animals make, um, kind of allows me to recognize uh human beings as as not separate from animals but uh but actually you know we're we're just on a an, an extension of that spectrum um and so looking at lines that human beings have created uh around the world and wanting to like experience those lines um in in the best way that i know which is to walk or run them um, and so that can be everything from a trail uh, to a highway to like power lines, how power lines move across landscape or canals uh, that take water from one place to another place. Um, or like pipelines, oil pipelines, which is obviously like, you know, we're willing to spend billions of dollars to create this line to get oil from, you know, the Arctic Ocean down to the port of Valdez in, in Alaska. So all of these things are, are really quite interesting to me. And it's, uh, you know, it's us, you know, being very human, uh, which is to, to conquer and, and to grow and, and expand. Um, but we also have to have this dance with nature. And each one of those lines um, it poses a challenge for human beings um to interact with nature to get what we want um so so that's kind of uh, roughly the ne next project that i'm most excited about I'd, I'd like to do 10 lines 100 miles a piece uh, and call the project a, a thousand miles of line i'm very grateful to a to an artist friend of mine um because i never i always had a hard time defining myself as an as an artist um and as I think a lot of artists do, and then there's some artists that just say like, I'm an artist and then like whatever they create is art afterwards. Uh, but I have an artist friend uh, who gave me the title, uh, conceptual runner, um, like, like a conceptual artist, but uh, you know, my, my medium is running. Um, and so I appreciated that. So it's like, you know, how can I continue to move through this environment um that will keep informing me um more and more about mostly about who we are as humans it's it's also a way for me to appreciate nature and in the environment itself but i mean very rarely am i moving uh, across environment that's un undisturbed by human beings um and and much like a lot of us, I, I like I mentioned earlier, I, I can struggle with, uh, you know, with what uh, the direction that we're going or what we're doing. Um, and then this is a way for me to have that experience in that uh, conversation, um, but with doing it without judgment and more more as like a, a scientist almost um, to just recognize that like this is what's happening. This is where we're going. Um, and to put my observations out there. Yeah, and thank you. Thank you so much for the conversation. Uh, and, and again, I'm just, uh, I'm really honored uh, that you chose to uh, take on publishing my book. Uh, it means a lot to me, so thank you.